two weeks now as of, was it yesterday two weeks? Saturday was two weeks. Uh, kind of Misha today, I'm tired, hungry. Misha's just gonna put me through my paces basically. Oh. Just okay. these, yeah, these two weeks, this. these two weeks are like, for me, you've got to have people around you because it's vital just to give you a kick up the arse. Like, I'll be sat there sometimes and I'll stare at the weights and 20 minutes will go by and I'm not done anything just because like, physically and mentally, you're just not really with it. So it is handy to have your eyes big, even by a girl as well, like. Sorry? Is it worth it? <laughs> Fucking hell yes. Last night we, um, I hate horror films, hate them. So Misha thought it would be funny to um, watch a horror film. And throughout the night, throughout the night I had a nightmare. And uh, But now when you're like in a sleep and out and, you, and you, you know you're dreaming it and you're trying to wake up, I couldn't wake myself up. But um, Misha would tell you what happened. I thought he was having a seizure. Um, I was petrified. So I was like thinking, where am I going to put him in this position? Like try and protect him so he doesn't hurt himself. No, he was having a nightmare. Thought he was possessed in his sleep. I was petrified. I stayed up half the night worried about him. Turns out he's just a bit of a pussy when it comes to horror films. <laughs> Diet and horror films don't go hand in hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna get the teeth whitened. Uh, as vain as it sounds, dental hygiene is quite a big thing to me and you gotta love yourself in order for someone else to love you. It's no different to getting your hair cut. So you want to get your teeth done or have a sunbed or you know, just look after yourself and, and respect yourself. So I'm here at Essex Miles. So yeah, come and uh, let me get my teeth done. <laughs> it's such a good Look film. at the choice. So Ooh, although Magic Mike XXL does look quite Look at the selection you've got. Can't kill Magic Tom Mike, like that, can sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> Look. The only people we keep coming here, guys. You've got any pulled of you? The thing is, though. Well, private DVD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's in a cupboard. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, though, you're joking. You've got both Magic Mikes. Yes, yeah. that's right. Tom Common has both Magic Mikes at home. It's how I practice my posing for when I'm on stage. He's <laughs> it's basically a story about me, isn't it? It's a roofer, an entrepreneur, and a stripper. I've done, done butters in the buff, by the way. Oh, I've done butters in the buff, by the way. <laughs> I thought you were going to tell me something else then. Yeah, I used to serve drinks and just an apron. So, this is obviously, Tom, you've done this before. Yeah. This is uh, just your gum shield. You literally just bite into it, yeah? It's got your stuff inside. So, I'll give you that. I've had the peroxide one done. Yeah, yeah, this one. This one's peroxide free. Bye. Nice white smile for stage. <laughs> okay, so what, there, what uh, Tom is going through at the moment is uh, our top uh, whitening package we sell. It's called our Essex Smile, and um, it's a non peroxide based uh, product that. Uh, made from natural ingredients it's just really good for whitening it's uh, safe it's completely safe and uh, we do a lot of bodybuilders and uh, it's, a, it's a good good thing to do just before a competition really it's, it's broken into two uh, stages of half an hour uh, we use the product uh, it comes in like a set tray um, where they use for one half hour and then after that the uh, the product is dead it's, it's no longer uh, going to be doing its job so then we replace it with a fresh one for another half an hour so in total the procedure is an hour in total. It's activated by um, ultraviolet light um, speeding up the process. The, the, the product in the uh, in the tray itself is it will naturally whiten the teeth anyway but the, the light is called an accelerating lamp and it just speeds up the process so we get it done just in between uh, the, the job it would do in 24 hours it would get done in one hour. Why are 
Like I've said before, fitness is a lifestyle, you know, it shouldn't be a job, it shouldn't be a chore, you should enjoy it and that. And you've also got to have a healthy balance and make time for, you know, your friends, your family and everything. And it's nice to, to have that balance because it keeps you grounded. I mean, you don't, you don't want to go to work every day, for example, roofing. When I go to work every day roofing, I don't want to come home and then talk about roofing. The same as I don't want to train, train, train and then come home and talk about prep, diet and training. So it's nice to be able to come home and, you know, just simple, simply just taking the dog for a walk with the missus, having a laugh and a joke. It's nice to get out, fresh air and just be grounded and it keeps you very level. Like I still hang around with a lot of my friends from school, from rugby, even from roofing who just are not interested in fitness and are not interested in what I do. So we don't talk about it, which is nice. You know, I don't mind that because I'm happy to talk about it. But to talk about it 24-7, it's the same as if I ask you about your job 24-7. For example, if you're a carpenter and I asked you about all these types of wood, type of joinery, type of screws you use, it gets a little bit frustrating. So it's nice to have that downtime and just, you know, step back and smell the flowers and enjoy life a little bit. And, and the simple things in life, what people take for granted, you should learn to enjoy. Just having that free time on your hands. Prep's getting hard for me now. Um, feeling tired. I'm, I'm getting a lot of cravings. Like it happens every time, but this time round, like I said, I've taken prep a lot more. Very, very strict. Um, like this is as strict as I've been. So I'm, I'm craving a lot of things what I never normally would crave, like simple things like roast dinners. And you know, I'm seeing a sandwich, and I'm like, oh, I want that sandwich. But I don't even enjoy bread anyway. But it's, it's starting to get to me a little bit now. I'm getting tired. I'm getting a little bit aggy towards Misha and friends and. The ones that understand, you know, that they're cool with it, and the ones that don't, they take it a bit personal. So I've got to explain to them, take a step back myself, and just say, look, I'm sorry, this isn't me. There's obviously all my stuff there, the uh, pet boss. Put out of these. Oh my goodness. It's a USN moose, and oh my god, it's a lifesaver. Yeah, it's like it's just casing. It's basically casing, it's like nighttime protein, it's so good. Strawberry white chocolate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And that's the highlight of my prep. <laughs> Not long now, and I'm gonna cook you, Frank. Yeah, I'm gonna put you on a spit roast and yeah. You're gonna spit roast the dog. I'm gonna spit roast the dog. <laughs> <laughs>